Hey, thanks a lot for joining me for another episode of Five O'Clock Now. We're a couple of days away from Fourth of July, I thought I'd have a special episode for you to give you some suggestions to celebrate your Fourth of July, which falls on a Saturday this year. So, due to the pandemic, I think we're gonna have a lot of time, uh, perhaps spending it in your backyard, maybe at a lake if it's open. Uh, but here in Southern California, beaches, pretty much all of them are closed. So I'll be hanging out in my backyard, and I plan on. Uh, not really shooting off fireworks, but uh, the only fireworks I'm gonna have are in cans that I'm gonna be opening throughout the day. So, kind of like when you are a kid, you bought fireworks, maybe your parents would shoot them off, or even when you were like a teenager, you kind of went with the, the little snakes to begin with, some ground blue flowers, you know, fire uh, sparklers, and you kept on going to the big fountain ones, and boom, you wanted the, the biggest and the boldest with the most sparkles and flavor at the very end. And that's what I've got laid out for you today. So you don't wanna be pounding beers at noon because you'll get faded, you'll be passed out, you won't see any fireworks when it gets dark because you will be lights out, blacked out. So what I've got for you here today, these are sourced from Southern California. There's a few beers that are here that are uh, out of the market that uh, we're able to source, but uh, you might be living in a different part of the country or the world, but really I'm gonna go ahead and suggest styles for you to just kind of climb, climb the ladder to keep you fine tuned all day so you can enjoy the fireworks at the end of the night. So what I have for you today, I've tried three of these beers already. The rest of them I have not tried. I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve 12 beers. I got a 12 pack here, fantastic. A great box of fireworks, if you will. All different styles, shapes, flavors. So I, I've gone with a Pilsner, a Goes, a Hazy IPA, West Coast IPA. I got a Belgian um, style double IPA, Belgian style triple, and a farmhouse, um, farmhouse triple. So we got basically five steps to the ladder that I'm gonna be looking at. Again, depending on your particular taste, you can go Pilsner, Lager, Pale Ale, Belgian Wit, kind of those are, uh, the entry level, low alcohol, good tasting beers, and I, I, I enjoy um, I enjoy a goes. So I'm gonna jump up to a goes. I'm really big into hazy IPAs now. In the last year, those are a little bit more more fruity, aromatic, less bitter. So I'm gonna step up to that, then go to the bitter IPAs uh, from the West Coast, and end it with some Belgian style doubles, triples and even maybe a farmhouse triple. We'll see uh, how the night progresses. But uh, to start off, I've got for you Heater Allen Pilsner, Bohemian Pilsner out of Oregon. And uh, this beer, beer is brewed with um, Bohemian Pilsner malts, Czech Haas hops. Uh, and it comes in about 5.1% ABV. I've had this before, very full flavored, great tasting Pilsner. I couldn't believe it was a Pilsner because I really don't play um, in that uh, beer style, but solid. Good way to start the day. That's your noon beer. At least that, that's gonna be my noon beer. The next beer I have for you is by McKellar, 5% ABV. It is their Goes Guava Gang brewed with guava and salt. And McKellar is a great brewery. I'm sure you guys probably know the story about them. They're a kind of a, a nomad brewer and um, they brew a bunch of fantastic beers, and I've been looking forward to trying this one for several, several days. Um, and look at that beautiful beer. Ooh, a little guava pouring into the very end. Oh yeah, get that, get that hint of guava. Look at the head on that, kind of unfiltered, uh, kind of a tangerine orange color, if you will. Great hint of guava, not too overpowering. You get that salt, it kind of mellows out the acidity in the goes. Very smooth taste. I can definitely see stepping up from the Pilsner, jumping onto this. Yeah, some chips and salsa. Maybe some fresh fruit that's gonna be out, laid out in your barbecue. Go great with strawberries, kiwi. You know, 
can keep your vibe going through the day, especially if it's a warm day like right now. So this is an excellent beer. Oh yeah. Loving that bad boy. So again, that is McKellar San Diego Guava Gang. 5%. So we're kind of keeping the ABV low. Next for you, I've got four hazies. I've actually tried um, one of these. This was a stellar little beer by Eclectic Brewing. It was their seasonal Sunray Juicy IPA. I had this last weekend with some friends down in Newport and they loved it, I loved it. It's a great juicy IPA, uh, full flavored, citrus. Um, it was excellent and it was 6.5% ABV. I also have from you a San Diego brewery San Diego, some of the best breweries in uh, Southern California and the country. This is Modern Times. This is their Tyco Hazy IPA. Check out the can. And this beer uh, was just brewed on June 12th. Hazy IPA, we're gonna try this bad boy today. This, what's the ABV on this one? It is 6.8. So we're gonna crack that open, leave that here. I've also got Almanac Sabroso Hazy Double IPA. Almanac's a great brewery out of Northern California. And this beer is a mesmerizing flavor adventure. It's a super dank and juicy brew. Double dry hop to the Maximo with Sabro and Citra hops. Spellbinding tropical flavors of coconut, tangerine, uh, permeate the fourth dimension of your taste bud. So enjoy it with the sunshine and magic rainbows. Well, hey. That sounds like a good one to have on the 4th of July as well. Um, this is 8% ABV, so maybe something you want to have towards later in the day. And then a local brewery here down in Orange County, Brewery X. Phenomenal. They do a great job. And this is their uh, Dictionary Roulette Hazy IPA. And this one is... Um, uh, what's the... Uh, it's brewed with Citra and Mosaic Hops good combination and 7.4 percent ABV but let's take a look at modern times I've uh, heard a lot about this beer and uh, let's give it a go cool looking can whoa I hate when that happens but I really like when it happens Yeah. So what we got here? Um, doesn't give the, unless I'm missing it, but it doesn't give the type of hops that are with this beer. Um, but again, this was brewed on the 12th of June. Wow, again, got the hazy, unfiltered, your typical hazy IPA, foamy head. Getting hints of oh, a little bit of pineapple, citrus, some tangerine. Wow. This beer is kind of a hybrid because you get the aroma that you expect in a hazy IPA. And I've had other hazies where the mouthfeel, it kind of complements the, the aroma and the look of a juicy IPA. But this one kind of finishes with a slight bitterness, which lends its roots to a West Coast IPA. So not, uh, maybe not what you expect, but I like the flavor. That's an excellent beer but very surprising because I don't, I wouldn't really consider this a hazy IPA because it tastes more of a West Coast to me. If I had to do a blind taste test, I would consider this perhaps a West Coast IPA, but an excellent beer. Modern times, you can't go wrong. I love their beers. Moving on. So we started off, just to recap, we went Pilsner, Goes, Hazy. 
now my favorite pool to play in, so to speak, is West Coast IPA. Been drinking it for more than 15 years, I think. Um, Alpine Brewing out of San Diego, California, out of Alpine, California. You got the red, white, and blue colors. This is a great little brewery that was purchased by Green Flash a while back, so you can get better distribution. Duet is a solid uh, West Coast IPA, 7%. I highly recommend this. Um, comes in a 12-ounce 12, uh, 12 can or bottle, perfect for your backyard barbecue. But if you want to go to a bigger package, um, I've got a couple here before uh, for you. Sound Pieces by Mun Mumford Brewing. This is out of Los Angeles. 7% um, ABV. Never tried this beer before. And then I have a beer called Sun, uh, it's called GFJ, India Pale Ale from Sun King Brewery out of Indiana, Indianapolis, Indiana. I've never tried this beer before. I'm gonna save this for the 4th of July. This one is, uh, weighs in. Um, hmm. I can't tell, but I'll look for it a little bit later, but uh, Crafted with a unique blend of hops to provide tropical aromas and flavors. Grapefruit, passion fruit, tangerine, and apricot. And this bad boy was brewed on 610, so we got some fresh beer. Well, what I'm gonna go with is um, uh, actually, I'm gonna go with this one, Sun King. Perhaps you live in the Midwest, um, this would be a beer to consider. So let's give it a go. Ooh, look at that, a little darker in color. A little caramel there. Ah, oh, I think I got a little bit better pour this time than the other time. Um, so pardon me, I'm not familiar with this brewery or um, where they put their ABV and it could be maybe under the price tag, but I'm not gonna worry about it. I always like to try IPAs from other parts of the country because as you know, it started here in Southern California on the West Coast, um, but other breweries, I love the fact that uh, they give it a go. You get, look at that amber color, foamy head, and uh, wow, kind of get a nutty, kind of bitter flavor. A little citrus, but kind of, um, kind of mellow, um, not overpowering. And um, the caramel malt provides a good backbone on this. Not too overly bitter, well balanced. I would say for my flavor profile, maybe a little bit too malty. I like a little bit more bitterness, but all in all, if you like a beer that's not too bitter, that's an IPA that's has more of a multi background to take off the, the bitterness on the on the uh, the front end as well as the back end, then this might be a, a good consideration. Again, by Sun King Brewing, GFJ India Pale Ale from Indianapolis, Indiana. Rocking it from John Cougar Land. Some little pink houses for you from Indiana. So, just to recap, we got the Goes, we got the Hazy, we got the IPA, and then lastly, I got three choices for fireworks at the very end. I've got um, Snaffle Dryling from Logsdon Ales. It's a farmhouse Imperial Triple. This one I'm really looking forward to, the Turning Shape, Anchorage Brewing. They always put out some great beers. And to Wolf Jack, a local artist who, look at that wolf right there, pretty sweet. Kudos to Wolf Jack's artwork. Or another one from Anchorage Brewing, The Bitter Monk. The Bitter Monk, this is an Imperial Double IPA, 9% uh, ABV. The turning, um, the turning shape is a uh, Belgian style triple. And this is 8.5% ABV. And getting back to logs to nails, the strap dryling, uh, 
uh, farmhouse ale, 8.8 percent. So three big beers. Uh, I highly suggest that have been rated. They were suggested to me by my great friend Patrick Homa at Stateside Crafts. Thank you, Patrick. I'm going to wind up my 4th of July fireworks show with a bang. So hope that you have a safe and sane 4th of July. Step up your game. Kind of progress through the, uh, the beer ladder. And uh, we'll catch you next time. If you like what you saw, drop me a comment. Throw a like. Subscribe. And we'll catch you next time on 5 o'clock now.